Hey guys, welcome back to another tool review video. The tool set that I'm going to review today is a must have for your toolbox. If you do any kind of repair in your shop, this Lyle tap socket set is a must have. A lot of people have seen me use these in my videos. They've asked me about them for quite a while. As you're going to see in the video, it's a must have if you're going to repair threads in your shop. Have you ever been caught in a situation in your shop where you go to repair some threads and because of the tool that you use to turn the tap, you just can't do it. And in most tap and die sets that you buy, this is the tool that you will get to turn the taps. And as you just saw, most of the time you just can't use it because there's no space. This tool is quite large and cumbersome. So this is where this Lyle tap socket set, part number 70500, comes in very handy. I've had this set in my shop for about 2-3 years now and they get used on a weekly basis, maybe a few times in the week. They always get me out of a jam and they make the job really easy. So now coming back to this job over here, I'm going to show you exactly what to do to be able to use these to re-thread those threads. First of all, grab your set. You will have to find the socket that fits perfectly in the tap that you want to use. This is actually the most common one I use here for small engine repair. And what I've got here is a quarter inch tap by 20 NC. This is a very common tap here to repair threaded holes for starters. And basically when you use the tap, you just insert it into the socket. And you'll need a quarter inch ratchet or extension to use this. And with the quarter inch ratchet, the extension, the socket and the tap, you're all set up to go fix those threads. Now the threads here today are okay, but I'm just using this engine here as a prop to show you guys how the tools work. And now you can repair your threads or make threads if you have to. And there's absolutely nothing obstructing you. So you can definitely see here how these are a must have in your repair shop. And after each time I use one of these I put it back in its exact spot. I always make sure to put it back in the holder here because you do not want to lose these. And like I said in my small engine shop, this socket here is by far the most common one that I use. And some of the bigger sockets accommodate the bigger taps like this. And again, you'd be using your 3 8 ratchet for those. And by the way guys, these sockets are made in the USA. And they do feel of good quality and they're quite heavy in your hand. So if you get these, you're definitely buying quality. These will last you a lifetime. And again, the part number for that set is 70500. I've put a link under the video to where you can go read all about the specs. And I keep this set of sockets in the same drawers. I keep all my taps and dies. That way I'm sure to find them when I need them. And by the way, guys, I do get by by using Mastercraft and other brands of taps and die sets for my small engine repair shop. Because I don't use them every day, I don't need to buy the most expensive taps and dies for the shop here. And I do have a set where the dies are hex. So if I'm in a tight spot, I just use a socket on these. And you can see with this tool here, you could run into the same issue as this. So if you're looking to avoid that problem, just try to find a tap and die set where the dies are hex like this. And by the way, guys, this is not a sponsored video. I did buy these quite a few years ago because they were a necessity for me in the shop here. Now, if you buy this set, guys, you will use it. It won't just sit in your toolbox collecting dust. And you're going to be so happy you have these when you run across situations like I showed you in the video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And have yourselves a great day.